Angeles, California. Hi. Other action figures each sold separately. From the court. Her. Jenny, get the door. It must be Cousin Willie. Okay. Hi. Want some? Ah, there we go. Something chill to watch. The following video is rated R and is intended for an adult audience. So if you're under 18, take a fucking hike, eh? As this video may contain adult themes and situations, strong language and opinions, good and <laughs> bad advice, cannabis cultivation and consumption. So as long as you're a responsible adult, kick back Spark one up and enjoy the show. And works Hi everybody, Can of Beard Grows here. How you doing? How you doing? <clears throat> um, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the greenhouse. It's fucking humid in here. My hands are moist from the air. What is the temperature in here? It is, oh, it's only, it's only like 87% humidity in here. <sighs> Don't worry about it. You know what, I'm gonna fucking open the door. I know, I know. Opening the door almost, almost defeats the purpose of today's episode title. So, to answer your question right off the bat, to make you not wait at all, did I fix my bug problem that I had? Um, some of you might say, you had a bug problem? What? I don't know if I mentioned it on the episode last week. But yeah, I had a serious, serious uh, uh, aphid problem. Um, they moved in like you would not freaking believe. I couldn't believe how quick they moved in. I spotted a couple, and then I looked in the plant, and there was millions, millions. Uh, I got a picture here. I'll show you. There we go. So this is like one of the broad leaves that I picked up. Check this out. Um, Oh man, it's gonna be hard to see. There you go, you can see all the little bugs. Look at them all. There was just so many, so fucking many. It was crazy. I was like, oh my goodness. Now, that was the Congo, Ace Seeds Congo, the one I grew last year outside here. Um, and to again, answer the problem, or answer your question, yes, I fixed the problem. Yes, and I'll tell you how. Um, but, it was only that one plant. I looked all around the yard. I checked all my peppers, all my tomatoes, all the other cannabis very thoroughly. And it was only the one plant. They moved in on that plant, decided they liked it and set up shop. So that was actually a really good thing that they weren't spread everywhere. Um, I ended up going, talking to my local gardening store. And after a whole bunch of discussion, we went with this stuff right here, man. The, the bug, bug be gone eco. Uh, with canola oil. <laughs> this shit worked. It worked. I used a pump sprayer and got under the leaves. I made sure that like these are the leaves, right? I was spraying under them like this and lifting them up and and I was like lifting the plant and spraying it everywhere and like I made sure that plant got a good hose down of uh, this concentrate in water. And uh, you know what? Here we are a week later, no bugs. They're gone. They're dead. They're gone. They moved on. Whatever the fuck happened, they're gone. And just to be due diligent, I sprayed the entire yard. I sprayed the I, I half this fucking bottle, man. Uh, I sprayed it all over uh, in the greenhouse here, all over the peppers and stuff. Thank goodness we were just in the beginning stages of early flower development. We don't even have any bud per se yet. I mean, we've got some flower sites, but I wouldn't call any of that bud yet. Ooh, that, I can feel that, that breeze coming on through here. That's fucking nice. Um, so here, let me take a look at, uh, look at chat here for a second. Uh, 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 I'm going to stir my coffee and I'm going to look at chat. I like showing you the color gradient. I think it's fucking beautiful. Uh, I got this coffee machine, this Nespresso thing, 
and I fucking love what the coffee it makes. Oh my goodness. Um, ooh, this is a new coffee. I've never tried this yet. It's called Intenso. <laughs> I mean, like, it sounds like a, a Futurama name for a robot. Hey, Intenso. Anyway, <laughs> it's called Intenso, and it's apparently just a, a much bolder, it's smooth, but bold, like a real strong coffee. Let's find out, let's find out here. I shouldn't have left it sit so long. It is definitely sharper. It's got a lot more coffee bite to it than that other smoother one. I kind of like it. It's a little... I think it needs a little dash of chocolate, though. There's a real darkness to this, and I think a, a, a little dash of a chocolate syrup, which I didn't put in this one, would have really, really set off that darkness nice, and it would have played well. I think I'll do that next time. But I wanted to try it out in its sort of, in its entirety there, and sort of see how it, how it tasted by itself, because I just got that pod. Um, so, first in chat today was Jake Grows 420. Right on, man. First in chat, notification squad at its finest. Um, oops, come on now. Let me move this thing here. Ah, coffee is the liquid of life. It's true. Also, that actually brings me to a really good point. I want to bring that up. You see how that person right there made my name highlight? In order to do that, you can actually do that with anybody that you're chatting with. In chat, all you need to do is hit the at symbol and then type their name out. Uh, it has to be spelt correctly. <laughs> and right spacing and stuff. Um, I believe YouTube actually does an autofill, autocorrect for you and gives you some options when you're typing it out. But uh, if you type in at Cannabeard, it pops up as a big orange thing and it really catches my eye and it's easy for me to read. And go, oh, hey, that's, that's, that's to me. And it's like, sometimes you guys are chatting amongst yourselves. Sometimes you uh, are asking me questions and that's just a really easy way. And it's a free way. You don't need to tip me in order to do that. Um, speaking of tipping, I got to say thank you to all you guys who helped uh, this last weekend. Uh, we did a, a, a fundraiser for the uh, BC Wildfires Relief Fund uh, through the Red Cross, and we raised $2,000 on Sunday session in the stream. That was fucking crazy, man. Go back and check it out. We dressed up like Cheech and Chong and smoked this fucking like $200 fucking pre-roll joint. It was beautiful, beautiful. Um, uh, anyway, the government will match our donation. So that's $4,000 going towards the fucking wildfire fund at BC, man. That's fucking beautiful. Beautiful thing, man. Um, but now that we're done that and we've, we're finished done doing some good for a little bit, um, I'm going to re-divert attentions back to, um, back to me again for a second, if you, if you don't mind. I don't, I don't like doing that very often. Um, I very rarely ask for anything other than likes and subscriptions and stuff like that. Subscribe to Cannabeer Grows and like this video. I'll ask that. But I will mention this. Our boy Zach has decided, um, we, we had a discussion, okay? Here, here's, here's how the story goes down. I get people donating into the stream towards the the wedding fund, which is fucking glorious and like just magical beyond words. Um, 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 uh, and anyway, I decided that it was probably better if I had a proper hub for that sort of a thing so that it could be all collected in one area. And after just talking about it a little bit and stuff, one of the community members just went up ahead and <coughs> set up a, a GoFundMe to help divert uh, the funds. <coughs> He's a trustworthy member of, of the group, so don't worry about it or anything. Don't worry, it's not gonna not gonna get absorbed or anything incorrectly. Uh, but there's a link below if you want to help with the the wedding. And um, depending on the situation, we're gonna cover the wedding in some manner. Or I don't know how, what we're gonna do exactly. I don't know how public we want to go with the wedding. We might end up streaming from it a little bit. I don't know. I'm kind of a streamer now, so who the fuck knows? Ah, thank you, Santa Cruz. Uh, he, he just posted the GoFundMe right there. It's also in the description below. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's have another fucking dab here, and then we'll start talking more about uh, plants and stuff, which is probably why you're actually here. To take a look at the plants 
and talk about what happened and what's going on and how I've been fucking dealing with shit and etc. For starters, we've had storms all week. It's been, my fucking fuel's almost out. It's been stormy all week long. So uh, the yard's a fucking mess. Everything's wet. I had the sides put down, and then because the sides were put down on this place, it's fucking humid in here. That's why the door's open. Oh, yeah. This is a... I need to make some more stuff here, by the way, but this is, it's getting a little bit on the low side. We're not too, too much left in this here, but this is a CBD cheese, by the way. That's one half of that crazy strain I crossed. So <clears throat> let's uh, pull up the camera thing here. Um, this one and that one. And then I, where's the ninja button? Oh, it's front, can't find it. Oh, I gotta press start. Sorry, I thought I pressed start. There we go. Boom. We are mobile. Okay. Look at the peppers, man. Peppers. Peppers everywhere. Literally, there's just peppers all over the fucking place, man. Peppers everywhere, man. There's peppers everywhere. There's also plants everywhere. Look at this. Look at this forward jungle. I can't even really walk down this path anymore, and I kind of knew this was going to happen unless I trimmed this better. But I don't know, man. I don't know what to say. I think it's kind of okay. I don't know. I'll just be careful. <laughs> I'll trim it back if it gets if it gets too wild. Like these are sticking out here. These aren't going to hold. I might have to trim a lot of this back. I really do. I might have to be realistic and just come back in here and go go like this again. And just tip all them whatever and then like look at this this is sticking out like a foot and a half now <laughs> like i don't really mind but it's but where do you think you're going lady where do you think you're going and then like up here is no joke like the top trellis is uh uh definitely coming through now i'm glad i i i decided to add a second that second trellis, this was the first trellis, and I, and then it just kept going up and up and up and up. So I added, so I just put, because uh, uh, of the way this was a T right here, um, I was able to put in another bar and another T thing and then add more scrog net up on top, man. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what's going on here. Um, I mean, it is a, they are some booshes, bushy. Bushy, bushy ladies. So, <clears throat> the tell of the tale is this. Alien Gorilla Glue. Right here. Alien Gorilla Glue from Coastal Mary Seeds. Um, this is a Double Purple Doja from... Shit, I can't remember. I feel like an idiot, but I don't remember. I don't remember the name of the, the thing. I got it from the UK somewhere. And then over there is... Um, the green crack monster again from Coastal Mary Seeds. Just beasts. Excuse me. And then uh, for people that are interested in the pepper department here, this is Pepper Row right here. This is the Habanero Habanero Row. I'm going to come down here and you can kind of just hopefully see as I walk past everything. We got lots of peppers going on quite a bit of peppers actually some of these are getting really heavy and starting to tilt and lean and stuff like uh they're getting pretty pretty top heavy Ooh, we even got some ripe ones almost here look at that nice getting real close and then the the thai dragon this is the the re-veg thai dragon it's looking good there's definitely a lot of peppers in here but like not the kind of um amount that i got from topping one originally um, as being a re-veg, it's, it's only fruiting about 50% of what I, what it vegged the first time. Ah, these little yellow tomatoes are fucking sweet. Um, we got, uh, look at these fucking peppers. These are so big. Look at this. Womp, 
and they're not even ready. They're so big, I've had to wrap them around this pole because it was leaning, it was too heavy. And then these are all these little sweet peppers here. I'm really excited for all these. More, more flowers coming in. Look at, there's pollen, look at that. You can see the pollen right there. So we just go like this. Give them little shakes once in a while, like this. They self-pollinate too, hey? That's one of the joys of peppers is they can, they can pollinate their friends, their neighbors, but they can also self-pollinate. These are all sweet little tiny, uh, like a type of baby bell, and they're all sweet peppers. I forget what their, actually I don't think I know what their actual names are because I kind of just grew them from the store. But uh, I can't actually go down this way because it's, it's too jungly. And then this is the end of, look at this green crack jungle. Look at this, man. And I've cut this back so many times. And I just, I, I, I can't keep it, I can't keep this plant down in here. Me and the wife are gonna have to come through here soon uh, once it shows a little more a little more uh, flowering uh, we're gonna come in and do a defoliation and then it'll start focusing a lot heavier on, on bud development and then uh, here's the other pepper row we definitely have peppers coming we've even got a couple that are getting ripe they're starting to uh, but most of these are still got a little ways to go these are a slower breed of pepper for sure Okay, I'm gonna, I gotta backtrack though. It's kind of a one-way street in this greenhouse now just due to the, the amount that's going on in here. I'm gonna come over here and take a look for a quick second. Ah, damn, the peppers look like they are really fun and rewarding to grow. They really are, dude. I like these fucking peppers, man. These ones are pretty nice right here. These are the, the these cayennes. You can't go wrong with a cayenne. It's a medium pepper. Um, it's got some spice to it and same with those little Thai skinny ones. Fuck those are hot little bastards They got some real nice spice to them. They are a great combo You take those ties and those cayennes and you mix you dry them and then mix them mm, so good anyway this here is my um, What the heck is this thing called blue sherbet? This is an untrimmed untrained blue sherbet. I just put into a normal tomato cage and just let it go and it's absolutely eaten the tomato cage you can't even tell it's there anymore why is my pump or my why are you looking so sad today the sun is out you've got water don't look sad look happy you were happy yesterday and then uh this thing over here is uh my sweet and sour that i just bred recently this is this is the very first seed i germinated of the sweet and sour it's, it's doing some weird, it's gonna be air, oh fuck, it stinks like heck, holy crap. It smells so good. It's a little airy bud-wise, it's not like real, it's got time to go still. It's an auto flower and I'm, I'm growing it outside, which is part of the problem. But uh, I mean, she's looking good. Look at these big leaves, man. They're getting, they're getting absolutely destroyed by the, um, um, the wind and stuff. These plants have been knocked over multiple times here. This one here, not so much, just because it's really bottom heavy. This one got knocked over a few times earlier in some storms. <clears throat> and then, then we got this beast right here. Are you prepared for this beast? Man, I can't even with this thing. <laughs> it's just so big. So this is the land race sativa Congo that was gifted to me by the Congo the Congo seed project look at this thing it's 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 probably 13 and a half maybe getting close to 14 feet now at the tip it's it's taller than the greenhouse like I can't really show you but I can see out the window of my kitchen and it's taller than the greenhouse I don't know not not by a lot but it is and this beautiful lady right here is the Ace Seeds Congo. Yeah, it's coming in around nine feet. Looking good, looking good. This is the one that had all the bugs. Like I came in here and then I looked at this branch and this branch was just loaded with little tiny white dots. And I was like, what is that? And I'm like, oh, they're fucking bugs. And then when I looked up inside and started looking under leaves and shit, they were fucking everywhere. Now here, let's, let's fucking test this. Let's just reach up in here and pull a leaf out and take a look. Looks like there's a bit of damage on this leaf, but no bugs. 
So let's fucking pull another leaf out just to be sure here. Let's pull something up pretty high here. What do I got? Um, maybe something without some damage would be nice. <laughs> they, they get really wind battered up here. Let's see, under leaf. No, no bugs. Good, good news. Good news. Um, man, the storm just wrecked our yard. I'm sorry about the mess here. Um, these ones are coming along. That one might even be ready right now. They're a yellow pepper. So that one might be ready. That's, that's called a lemon pepper, this one. Uh, these are peppers out here that are doing good. Tomatoes are doing good. And then these are fucking cool, man. These are called, I don't know if you guys know what these are, but these are called tomatillas. And uh, what this is, it looks like a little lantern. It is a little lantern. And inside, I can feel it right there. There's a little tiny ball growing. And it grows out and it'll basically fill this pod until it splits the pod open. I don't know if you can see inside there. Probably not, but there is a hole there. You can kind of see them. Um, anyway, um, this is a, a, a somewhere between some citrus and a tomato. It's not really either thing, but... Um, it's called a tomatilla. Look it up. It's good in salsa. That's why I'm growing them. I'm growing them for my my uh, hot sauces and stuff. And because they're cool. I grew them when I was a, my, when I was a kid. My mom grew these things and put them in our salsas and stuff when I was a kid. So I uh, I know this stuff pretty well. And uh, I wanted to grow it because it's fun and it looks cool. And it's a big plant. Look at this thing. This is one plant. She's a beast. That's another tomatilla over there. But this one seems to be doing better. Anyway. Man, what a mess this yard is. God. I just cleaned it up the other day, and then a storm comes in and just shreds it again. All right, all right, all right. I, there we go. There we go. Back into the thing we go. Let's see here. Uh, do I have any fruits? Um, I've got some blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries up on the front, sort of the front yard area there. Um, hello, everybody that just came in. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. Can of beard. Uh, I have some screw pepper seeds I got off eBay from China. S saved some seeds this year. S can I send you some seed? Some, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, join the Discord or hit me up on Instagram or something like that. And I got a P.O. Box number. You can you can ship me some some weird pepper seeds. Thank you. I like weird peppers. <laughs> I actually got lots of weird peppers. Um, I got lots of these uh, uh, witch stick peppers, which are kind of a corkscrew. Oh, hello. It's a big bee. Uh-oh. Here, I'm going to open the door for you, big bee. You don't live in here. You can come and hang out, I guess, but you you got to buzz on out of here, buddy. I don't want you to get trapped. That was a big bumble. It was either a bumble, I don't know. It was either a fat honeybee, a fat, fat, fat honeybee, or a bumble. Now I think he's crawling on me. Yeah. Um, bro, you need to buy resin, a resonant your blaster. I promise it will come. Uh, again, message me on Discord or Instagram or Twitch or uh, Twitter even, or even Twitch, I guess, uh, and, and let me know. Um, uh, 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 let me know if uh, um, what, what you're talking about. Uh, I'd be very interested in a product that might clean my my dad blaster better. Absolutely, hundred percent. You're kidding, right? You can't kick out a bee. Oh, I know. I'm not, I'm not going to kick him. Oh, there he is. I see him. Oh, he's awesome. Hey, buddy. What are you? Mm, what are you? You are... The fuck is that? It looks like a black bee. It doesn't really look like a... It looks closer to a honey bee than a bumble. It's kind of fat. It's not bumbly though. He's not yellow though. Hey, go out this way, buddy. He's lost in here. Yeah, whatever. He's going back over towards the tomatoes. Whatever. You know what time it is then? Is since there's a bee here, 
It's damn time, damn time. The B, motherfucker. The B. Damn time, damn time, damn time. Time to take a fucking death break. Maybe I should go on the other side of the, the tent and blow my dab over there and smoke them out. <laughs> Fuck, I should have filled, filled this thing with some fuel. It's uh, getting pretty low. <sighs> Cheers, everybody. So, um, not <coughs> this week, obviously, but maybe next week, or it might be the week after that. I'll have to take a look at the calendar. Hi, B. I'll have to take a look at the calendar and figure out, um, what, what day the, the well, here, I can look right now. Let me tell you. Hold on a second. I'll have to look at a calendar. Hi, B. Go out that way. Go, go, go. You're so close to the door. Yes, he went outside. Score. Good for you, B. Um, calendar. Nope, that's weather. Calendar. So, yeah, not next week, but probably the week after that, um, I'll be doing more top dressing. Um, will I be doing more top dressing? Yeah, I'm doing another top dressing. You know what, though? <clears throat> I might, I might shorten the period here. I might do it next week, because that'll be a little, just a little over three weeks, but not quite a full month since the last one and in doing so I will be able to put one final feeding just before October before October 1st because they're only going to get about at best at best three weeks of October to go the, the greenhouse can probably go right until November but the two outside and then the, well the autoflower will be done before then so the three photo periods outside need to be finished, and I mean finished by mid-October, or they're really chancing frost and stuff. Because like mid mid to late October, we get frost, even snow here sometimes. Uh, maybe just a little bit, but. Whew. Did you fly back in here? I think it flew back in here. I mean, maybe he's like, maybe he's digging on all the pollen on the fucking, the flowers of the peppers. There is a bunch in here. I mean, he's welcome to come in. I just don't want them to get stuck in here. That's my only big concern is when the bugs get stuck in here. I don't, especially bees and stuff. Cause you gotta, you gotta, you gotta respect them bees. Yeah. He's totally going after the peppers. That's where he's doing. He's going up and down the pepper aisles. All right. Go at it, Mr. B. Do your thing. <clears throat> I can't believe we got rid of him and he came back in. <laughs> That's funny. That really is kind of funny, though. Um, shit, I don't know what else to say about the, the greenhouse this week, man. Um, we've had a really, um, a really slow week as far as... Um, it's been kind of stormy this week, which is fucking needed, man. We've been, we've been like surrounded by fires for so long. So it's so nice to have the change of pace where, um, it's been wet most of this week and kind of gloomy and a little bit cold even like the temperatures are, uh, it's not like we've had the heat on or anything, but we have definitely turned the air conditioners off. You know what I mean? It's been a chilly week, uh, for the middle of summer. And that's, I don't know, welcome, I guess. I don't know what else to say. Uh, the water, man, we need that water. It started, it's funny. We did that. Somebody said that in the discord. They said you did a rain dance stream and that's actually kind of almost not, not even a joke. We did that stream about a fundraiser, the up in smoke stream, uh, fundraiser thing for the wildfires raised a fucking shit ton of money. Thank you everybody that contributed to that. That was fucking amazing beyond belief. Um, <clears throat> and we, uh, Right, right after that, a storm came that night. 
and then like it's been kind of wet all week for real like it, if it hasn't rained one day it'll rain the next day and it's just been like kind of wet all week which is fucking awesome the yard has the cement in my yard has always had some water on it this week and that's freaking amazing fucking needs it so bad <laughs> holy crap the storms get bad here and blow plants over though that's the only problem is every every night i gotta or every morning i gotta wake up and see what got blown around in the yard well we'll figure that out a little bit <clears throat> we'll be better prepared for that for next year i wasn't wasn't thinking about that man mm. i'm gonna really focus this fire because she's getting smaller and if i use it correctly i can use it i'm gonna have one more dab here and that's probably the end of it bees and trees yeah man i am blessed <clears throat> i i am very grateful to have the opportunity to have moved closer to my family and to be close to my mom and my grandma while we still had her and uh, the rest of my cousins and shit and my brothers like sort of close, you know. Um, <clears throat> it's good to be closer to family. I've been away from them for many, many, many years living out on the coast and uh, I'm glad to be back in the mountains that raised me. It feels comfortable and it's good gardening here and it's quiet town and I just fucking love it, man. I'm so, so happy to be back here. It's changed my life. It absolutely has. Cheers. <coughs> YouTube has changed my life. Holy crap. I started YouTube before I left the island. Before I left the West Coast. <coughs> but for real, moving, moving here really, really changed the game in every... Every step of the way, man. My mentality uh, 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 is in a, 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 can I say, is that the right terminology? My mentality's in a better spot, I guess. I don't know. I'm mentally in a better spot. That's the way I should be saying that. I am mentally in a far better spot now than I was before I left, man. When I left, I was scattered, scattered. I was in a bad place for a long time. I don't know how I met this beautiful woman um, in one of the darkest times of my life and she somehow fell for me and seen through all my darkness and seen a good person and stayed Pfft. oh bless that bunny <laughs> anyway folks <clears throat> that's about all i got for today i don't know i could sit here and continue to try to milk the last drops of butane out of that and get one more dab and ramble on for another five minutes or uh <clears throat> i can just call it a day and say thank you very much uh, don't forget to like this video if you did like it. Hit that thumbs up kind of action. You know how to do that. I appreciate it. I know it's a small little thing and most times people forget about it or just don't think of it. it's a big deal or anything. But it really, really, really does mean a lot for the algorithm thing of what YouTube thinks is acceptable content and stuff. And it really helps like just promote the channel and tell me that I'm doing a good job. I don't know. I like it. I like the likes. And uh, if you do like it, consider subscribing if you're not already for some reason subscribed and join our discord you can join our discord if uh if you're a cool person man don't be joining our discord if you're a dick you know if you're a total dick if you can if you can hold your dickness back and not be a total dick to people you could probably still join but we try to keep cool people in our discord so uh if you're cool and uh i don't care what color you are i don't care what shape you are I don't care how many nipples you got, um, as long as you're a respectful human being and uh, you want you want something to do with cannabis, you want something to do with a cool cannabis crew, then uh, come hang out in our Discord. Come check us out, man. We got an awesome crew of very non-judgmental uh, growers that are just legitly kind of just want to help each other out, and it's trippy as hell. I don't know how I was blessed with this community, but phew, bless you guys, man. <laughs> it's just too awesome. And I'm not kidding, man. Ask anybody. Seriously, ask anybody in the Discord. They'll, they'll tell you the same. And it's not a cult or nothing. It's just we're fucking cool people, man. And I mean, I'm not trying to <laughs> brag or anything. Like that. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, thank you very much for hanging out with me here today. Uh, I think I'm going to try to keep these for a little bit on Fridays. Because um, it gives me like a little two-day weekend in the middle of the week there is what it does. And uh, I kind of like that. Uh, I'm working on a brand new video. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I got some. I got some news. <clears throat> some. <clears throat> I 
I've got some news on the way out this door here today. The Grow Gar the last Grow Garage episode, go give it a watch if you haven't done, all, done so already. I put up sort of a question and I wanted you guys to tell me either this strain or this strain. I wanted to grow one of these strains. I wanted to document it, blah, blah, blah. And I want you guys to freaking pick the one. Here's the issue. Previously, in that exact same spot that I was planning on putting something new into, I was doing a project. I was recording this project and documenting it very severely. And I'm making a video out of it. And I had the cannabis lab tested. And the results are interesting and not at all what I expected. Very, very different than what I expected. Um, so, that being said, I really, really, really want to try it again. And it was wonderful stuff to grow, wonderful stuff to watch grow, uh, wonderful stuff to taste, to smoke. It's fucking excellent all around. So, but I think, I think doing, I'm going to have this, here's the thing. I want to have this video out before the end of the month. I got, I got, I got 10 more days, 10 more days to get this video finished being edited and done. I've got all the footage I just need and all the lab testing. I just need to finish editing. It's going to take me a couple more days. I've been working on it. I worked all day yesterday. Anyway, bottom line is <clears throat> I want to do this again. I need to revisit this test and you'll see why when you watch the video. Um, but the, the, I did not get the results that I was quite looking for. Therefore, I need to repeat it and improve upon it. And I feel like that's the right move right now. I know you all wanted Hash Church. I know a bunch of you wanted the Orange Bud. But here's, here's how I'm going to compromise. When my autoflower run that I'm currently growing right now is done, I'll turn the 8x4 into half Orange Bud, half Hash Church. How about that? I can do that. Well... I might have to go and try to get my hands on two more, one or two more hash church seeds, but I can, I can probably do that. Or I've got something else, another beautiful single plant that would fill the spot, but I've got two hash church seeds and uh, I got a bunch of them orange bud seeds. So I'll just grow some of those photos or something on the next round, which is only like two months away. So it's not that far. Um, but I really, 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 really want to do this other project again. I want to repeat it. Um, and you'll see why. This video is beautiful. Beautiful. It'll be one of the coolest videos I've made in a long time. It's a shame it's going to get fucking demonetized and age restricted and all this shit immediately. But it's a beautiful video. Um, so yeah, make sure you're going to make sure you share my videos and stuff because YouTube has just been cracking down on the cannabis freaking content and really making sure our stuff is hidden. So if there's a video that you liked of mine, please share it with your friends on some sort of social cannabis networks or something like that. Help spread the good word. And, uh, and I'll see you guys next time. It's, uh, it's Friday, so I'll see you guys on Sunday for Sunday session. 12 o'clock noon Pacific Standard Time. Every Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Ticket prices are free. Ticket price pays for the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. I swear. Anyway, I'll see you Sunday. Cheers.